If you're looking for the best way to bulk export WooCommerce variable products and variations, you're in the right place. Because in this video we will guide you step by step on how to export variable products with variations to a CSV file. We will use the WP Sheet Editor plugin, which allows you to view and manage products and variations using an intuitive spreadsheet inside WordPress. We have both variable products and simple products in our WooCommerce store. If we want to view the product variations, we just need to click on Display Variations, and the variations will be displayed next to their parent products. The post type column indicates if the row is a product or a product variation. It's possible that you may want to export the data of your variable products, but you do not want to export the data of the variations. In this case, we need to hide the variations from the spreadsheet. Now we can proceed to filter the variable products. For this we will use the search tool, which allows you to search for products using any field as a search parameter. In this case, we will filter the products by product type to find the variable products only. Now that we have filtered the variable products, we need to export their data to a CSV file. In the export tool, we need to select which columns we will export and which app we will use to open and edit the CSV file that will be downloaded to our computer. Once we're done, let's run the export. As you see, we have exported our variable products to a CSV file. This export doesn't include the product variations, only the variable parent products. Now let's see how to export the variable products with their variations. For this, we need to display the variations in the spreadsheet. Now we just have to export the data, and a CSV file containing both the parent products and the variations will be downloaded to our computer. Here you can see both the parent product and its variations. Let's consider some important things about managing product attributes in the CSV file. As you will notice, WP Sheet Editor presents the columns for attributes like product color and size in a user-friendly way. You can easily select or create the terms for each attribute in the product or variation cells. Please notice that the parent product rows contain all the terms of the attribute for which variations are available, while each variation has only the corresponding term. If you want to select the visibility of an attribute or if an attribute is available for product variations, you can do it in the column that allows you to edit the attributes in the parent product. That's the user-friendly way to manage the attributes in WP Sheet Editor, but things change a bit when you want to manage them in the CSV file. The CSV file will contain a group of columns for each attribute. This columns will indicate the attribute name, the value, or term, if it is a global attribute, and if it's visible. Again, you will notice that the parent product rows need to have all the terms, while the variation rows will have only the term corresponding to each variation. Please make sure that global attributes are marked as such in both parent products and variations, while attribute visibility needs to be marked in the parent products only. If you take into account these important aspects of managing attributes in the CSV file, you should not have any problems when editing products and variations in the CSV file. In the description of this video, you can find a link to a video tutorial on how to import WooCommerce variable products and variations. As you have seen in this video, WP Sheet Editor provides the best way to manage and export WooCommerce variable products and variations. You can get the plugin and read the written tutorial by using the links in the description of this video. Visit WPSheetEditor.com to get live chat support. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss any of our videos.